Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at um, the new glass cabinet that I received today. I've almost um, finished putting it together. Uh, the last bit is the glass cover on top and I just need um, the other half to help me lift it up. <laughs> um, but all the supports and the um, glass shelf is good to go. Um, I did have another glass shelf here but I'm probably not going to use it because I've measured out um, 40 centimeters because um, in total there's probably about uh, 80 centimeters of um, display space and probably 40 centimeters gives me a bit of flexibility for um, 1 6 scale and um, 6 inch figures using some risers if I um, if I get those two so um, it's 1.8 meters wide which is pretty huge actually so um, it will sit under the posters there and next to the details and there's my Back to the Future poster that I'll put up over there so I'll be spending the rest of the night um, cleaning up this mess and um, figuring out how I'm going to pose these things up and what I'm going to put where so um, Oh yeah, and I guess one other thing I was going to point out was um, don't ever listen to the supplier because some of them really don't know shit because um, this middle beam that you see here um, they actually said, oh don't, don't worry about that because it's just a, an extra piece that um, shouldn't have been included but I said, well what the hell is supporting this 1.8 meter long piece of glass in the middle and they said, oh it will be um, stable enough but when I put it in it was sagging so um. I took a closer look and um, there were screw holes top and bottom um, and now after I've put it in it's perfectly stable with no sag at all so um, I've sent them an email to say um, change your friggin instructions and um, update the pictures on your website so um, hopefully uh, they take that on board <laughs> um, but yeah once I uh, set it up a bit more with a few of the figures inside and um, Turn on the lights, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys another rundown. See you in a bit. Thanks, bye. Kai back again, and this is it. Pretty much all set up, ready to have figures put inside it. And it has two LED strips, front and back. And it's really, really bright white light, which is fantastic. So, I think that's going to make one awesome display. Sorry, I'm whispering, the kids are asleep. <laughs> but yeah, with my details now, I think I'm going to have to put in some sort of um, lighting for those two to... Um, match uh, this particular one because that is really awesome so I'm, I'm probably going to be spending most of the night um, putting in the, uh, the figures transferring those ones I want in there so um, once I do that I'll uh, give you guys another, another look and um, take some more pictures uh, talk to you guys soon, bye it's Kai back again um, I've moved my most of my DX figures into the top shelf here and I've got to say with that lighting I don't think I've ever seen them look this good really <laughs> they look pretty amazing under this lighting so I haven't really um, decided how I'm going to pose them up or, or anything like that I've really just moved them directly from the detolves into here with the same poses and so on, so I'll have to mix it up. But um, they really do look amazing. I might have to push them back a little bit to center them, a bit like Bruce there. But yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to filling it out again with. Um, some of the MP Transformers and so on. 
Um, there's six, 60 centimeters of um, depth there, so there's plenty of room. Um, I'm probably wasting a bit of room back here, but uh, we'll have to see how we go. So um, I'll keep at it and uh, give you guys a give you guys another update in a little bit. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Here on back again. Um, I think I'm going to call it a night. <laughs> it's pretty late now, and I've moved the new 52 statues in front of these guys, with one spot left for cyborg. And I'll probably keep this side free for the Avengers next year. And I've put in my MP Transformers with a couple of the big G1 vintage ones that I've got back there. And that should do. So there's enough space for the three Nissan uh, brothers to come soon I mean that should do so this space here I'll probably um, put all of those Motu, Motu Classics figures in there and probably um, uh, the TMNT ones are up there as well and some of the other 6 inch figures um, I've still got this big shelf here, which you can now get um, glass doors for. So I might think of getting a few glass doors and seeing how I can keep the dust out of those. So there's plenty of room now. And I'm really happy that I got this because it's starting to look really good. So on that note, I think I might call it a night, and um, I'll uh, give you guys an update tomorrow. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.